to a new policy on smoking in the movies and teens. Under pressure from medical groups and anti-smoking activists, movies that show smoking may soon be rated R, restricted. Here now, Dr. John Klein, director of the American Academy of Pediatrics Center on Children and Smoking, and Gary Nolan, the national spokesperson for the Smokers Club. Dr. Klein, let me begin with you. Is there proof that smoking in the movies leads young people to smoke? There actually is quite an, a lot of evidence that um, young people are s susceptible to um, being influenced to smoke based on promotions in the media, both in the movie content itself as well as through uh, sort of indirect advertising. And, and numerous studies have, have found that children who are exposed to cigarette imagery in the media are more likely to be smoking and also that the tobacco companies have specifically targeted these images to children as young as 12 and 13 years of age. So that by the time most children, most or teenagers are 16 or 17, most adolescents who smoke know they're addicted and they want to quit. And yet one in three of these children will go on to die from a tobacco-related illness. So Gary, is this a good idea to restrict the amount of smoking in movies or at least warn parents and teenagers that it's there? This is uh, political correctness got run amok, frankly. You know, it's, it's interesting. As a kid, I watched Tom and Jerry, and I watched them throw each other off buildings, throw, throw each other in front of automobiles, beat each other up with hammers and frying pans. And all of that is going to be okay, but lo and behold, should anybody light up a cigar or a cigarette or a pipe, now we're in trouble. Uh, breakfast at Tiffany's is out. But I never heard of a study that said that people watched Tom and Jerry and started throwing people off buildings. There are these many studies and legitimate medical organizations that say... Oh, there are say... studies. I, I, I beg to differ with you. There okay. are studies that say violent video games and violent TV programs do influence... Uh, adolescents into uh, being violent. The job here is not that of the of, of government or motion picture industry, but it is rather the job of parents who have the most influence over their children. And I think it's time that we put that responsibility back in their lap. Dr. Well, Klein, actually, don't you, Dr. Klein, isn't there a, a very significant influence by parents and peers? And maybe are we targeting things in the wrong place? Well, I, I'd say two things there. One is that um, is that the imagery in media has almost as strong an effect as families do. But secondly, studies that were just recently done uh, by uh, pediatricians at Dartmouth and Mississippi State confirmed that 70 plus percent of American parents want an R rating on tobacco so that they can help keep their children safe. So in, in work from our center, we actually have learned that both smoking and non-smoking parents want to be able to limit their children's exposure to media imagery. Right now, there's more smoking in movies that are targeting the young adult, or, or rather the, the young adolescent population, uh, than in, in other settings. And the, the smoke-free movies um, position that the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, strongly supports calls for new smoking movies to have an R rating. It calls for the production companies and the studios to certify that there are no payoffs to anyone right, involved well, in the production. Look, and, Doc, and all you one, need to other, do is put an point, ad. Though. Doctor, you, you're, you're going to get the make, last let me word make in a here. Point there. All I'm no, saying I, is I wanna, you just need, wanna, a, wanna, at best, an admonition so the parents can make their own minds up. Well, I think what, Gary what Nolan, we Dr. Also, Klein, we have to let that be the last word, but it's an important debate, and I think we're going to be talking a lot more about it today. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Life or death, jurors hold the